Hello everyone. I received another package of seeds today. Um, this package was shipped 21st and I received them today. As it turns out that this package has been sitting in the customs office. They issued me a letter letting me know that I have to pay them some tax before I can receive them. So I did. They also opened up the package before I did. So I cannot open this package right now. I love to open packages. Anyway, so I did that. So that's taken care of. And I wanted to show you what I got in this package. The point of this order was to get winter crops that I will be planting this winter. As it turns out, I'm already late and uh, due to the blessings of global warming, we only get about two months of winter in Dhaka. But in the rural areas, uh, I think it's not as bad. And I ordered a lot of seeds uh, from this um, shop. And if you want to stick around with me for that, um, I will take you through what I ordered and also uh, the packages are handmade and the kids that live in, in that area they actually help decorate the packages so these are so pretty and that's what I wanted to show you you can always you know stop the video right now because this is going to be a long video but in case if you want to stay with me let's get started so this is a bean that's called Po So Pei and um, this is a Burmese bean that somehow made its way to America and then somehow made its way to me. Um, these are, this is a delphinium uh, seed. Uh, there are two shades of blues, not grays in here for of the delphinium. And this is a really funny illustration of a butterhead bib lettuce. This is a bok choy seed. And I already had bok choy, but I re I'm really happy I got these because the ones that I got from our local market was uh, treated with chemicals and these are not, so, so that's a relief. The shopkeeper's mom also um, is a gardener and she loves to grow uh, some straw flowers and um, and cosmos so this is a collection of her favorite seeds um, these are some watermelon radishes this is super funny these look these are radishes but look like a watermelon kind of so I'm pretty excited to grow them look at this isn't this nice see these are mean heart core de beef cabbages. Some mixed poppy seeds. And this is a mixed seed packet of sweet peppers. These are mini mini sweet peppers and they look so cute in the photograph. I can't wait to start growing them. This is a uh, okra which is a burgundy color, not the, the green color that we have in our country. I think I also saw some burgundy colored offers in our country as well, but who cares? Um, peaches and cream, carrots. This is a yin and yang bean. I don't know, these kids draw so nice. I, I, I wish I could draw like them. So this is how these look, so interesting. I mean, these look like chocolate. And free radical fighting goji berries. <laughs> really nice um, illustration. Um, this, is, this tree can get pretty big. So I think I'm going to plant them in a huge barrel or something. And this is also another sweet pepper kind of starting to prepare myself for summer months as well. I, I struggle with my soil a little bit, so they grow really slow. Yeah, but I will figure some stuff out. This is an ice maiden. The flower, I have never seen this flower in my country. Uh, looks so fantastic. I was like blown. This is also another pretty, pretty flower. That's his pink. I'm excited to grow that. Sorry about the noise, construction going on. I waited for a long time and they just stopped for a while then I started the video and now they're at it again anyway this is a 
Velvet Pink Mellow Primrose and No Sumala. I didn't order these because I saw Hunger Games. I just really liked the flowers. And um, radishes and green peas, which are not, I mean, not green. The peas are um, kind of orange kind of color. I will show you the seeds. This looks like this. I'm sure it has uh, darkened a bit because of drying, but it is an orange colored seed. And yeah, these are panda bees. Look how cute this panda is. These kids are so so nice they draw so nice I wish I could draw like them anyway I am struggling a lot with space but I don't want these seeds to be sitting around doing nothing while I figure out um, the areas where I want to plant them and get more pots I will get them started in whatever containers I, I can find around the house and then start figuring out um, the, their homes and if I run out of space, then I can always keep some and grow them next year anyways. So that's my biggie. And um, yeah, so that's it for today. Um, let me know what you're growing, um, how you deal with space. If you're growing in a container or in apartments or on rooftops, that would be really helpful. And yeah, thank you for staying with me. It has been a long video and I will see you next time.